In this video we're going to cover the process of entering your paddocks. Um, so if I click into this icon down near the bottom, map and paddocks. So when you've signed up or to use the website and you've logged in for the first time, uh, the program will actually guide you into this screen anyway, but I just want to show you how to uh, add your paddocks on. Um, in the example that I'm showing you here, um, we have a list of 21 paddocks in the system. You'll notice that the way I have a name on the paddocks, but the name is very much an optional extra. We have a walk number, and what the walk number is, is uh, the order that you walk the paddocks. In this case, we're saying that paddock number one is the first paddock I walk, but that's not necessarily the case in all farms. You could have paddock number 10 beside the milking parlor, and that could be the first paddock you walk every Monday morning. So that would then be pad walk number one. Um, any place where we feel you need a little bit of help, don't forget to let the mouse hover over the top of a... Um, the top of one of these columns and it'll tell you what that is for. So if I want to add a new paddock I just click on new paddock up here and let's say I want to add in paddock number 22 um, I, the most important thing obviously with the paddock then is what's the size and knowing the uh, the hectare so I'd say 2.2 uh, you can put in a name if you want uh, it's not required you can put in a walk number if you want again over here it will tell you a little bit about what that's for if, it's, if it is a bit confusing. But really the only two things I need is the paddock code and the hectares. Uh, is the paddock wet? Yes or no. It defaults to no. Is the paddock cuttable for silage? It defaults to yes. That can be useful if other people are looking at your data and they want to give you some advice perhaps on which paddocks to take out for silage because no point taking a paddock out for silage if you can't send more in there. So um, you just go OK and that will add another paddock onto the system and then you just keep going, you keep going new paddock up on the top left. Now if I get back out to my home, when I'm navigating the website I tend to find myself just clicking on home all the time. It almost brings, back, brings me back to this home page where I have all the icons. I can obviously navigate by using the drop down menu as well and you can do that if you want. I simply find that I tend to find it easier just to go home and then go into the icon that I want. One of the things, um, and nearly the last thing I'll show you on this particular video is, it says map and paddocks. Um, in reality, all you need is a list of paddocks with the paddock numbers and the paddock hectares. But if you have a digital uh, image of your farm, um, you can send it to us um, to support at agrinet.ie, S-U-P-P-O-R-T at agrinet, A-G-R-I-N-E-T dot I-E. If you send us that digital image, we can actually take your map and we can chop up all of the paddocks and we can upload them onto the website as well. So as well as having a list of paddocks, we can have a visual uh, image of your farm um, displayed on the website also. Now if you are going to send us a map, the, the essential things on the map is that uh, we need to know the paddock, the paddocks have to be clearly numbered on the map and we need to have the paddock Hectare is clearly numbered as well. Ideally, we would recommend that you would put the paddocks on, just like I showed you there a minute ago, and I'll just go straight back in here. If you could put the, the paddocks on, so all the paddocks are in this screen already, and then all you have to do on the map that you send us, the digital map that you send to us, just have the paddock numbers clearly marked, and then we can link paddock number one um, from the map onto this uh, screen here. So it's not it's not essential to have a map on the website, but it's uh, an option that's there uh, if you choose to use it. So uh, once you have your map, um, once you have your map, or sorry, once you have your list of paddocks on and the computer knows the area of all your paddocks and the, from that it'll know the total hectares that's been measured in your grazing block, the next step will be to enter your grass covers and we'll cover that in a, another video and I'll leave this one uh, for the moment.